All right, so in this problem, I have x squared minus y squared is equal to x minus y squared. And I want to find the value of x and y. So for my solution, I'm going to first start by simplifying x minus y squared. So x minus y squared, that's actually equal to x squared minus 2x plus y squared. So now, I'm going to subtract x squared on both sides. And this is just to cancel out the x squared to make this problem easier to solve. So then these two cancel out, and these two cancel out, and I'm left with negative y squared is equal to negative 2x plus y squared. So now, I'm going to subtract 2y squared on both sides, or sorry, I'm just going to subtract y squared on both sides. So then these two cancel out, and negative y squared minus y squared is negative 2y squared. So I have negative 2y squared is equal to negative 2x. Now if I add 2x on both sides, these two cancel out, and I'm left with 2x minus 2y squared is equal to 0. Oh, sorry. At the start here, x squared minus 2x is actually 2x times y. So it's actually 2xy. So I have 2xy minus 2y squared is equal to 0. So from here, I can simply factor out 2y. So now I have 2y times x minus y is equal to 0. So this gives me two equations now. I have 2y is equal to 0, and I have x minus y is equal to 0. So for 2y equals 0, all I have to do is simply divide both sides by 2. So then these two cancel out, left with y is equal to 0. And for x minus y equals 0, if I add y on both sides, I get that x is equal to y. So now to check, I have x squared minus y squared is equal to x minus y squared. If y equals 0, then I have x squared is equal to x squared. So this is right. Now, let's try if x equals y. So if x equals y, then I can simply replace x with y. So now I have y squared minus y squared is equal to y minus y squared. Y, y squared minus y squared is 0. y minus y is 0. 0 squared is 0. So I have 0 equals 0, so this is right as well. So both solutions are right. All right, so in this problem, I have 9 to the power of x plus 9 to the power of x plus 9 to the power of x is equal to 9. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite the 9s as 3 squared. So now I have 3 squared to the power of x plus 3 squared to the power of x plus 3 squared to the power of x is equal to 9. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So in this case, 3 to the power of 2 to the power of x, that's going to equal 3 to the power of 2 times x, which is simply just 2x. So I have 3 to the power of 2x plus 3 to the power of 2x plus 3 to the power of 2x is equal to 9. Now from here, if I factor out 3 to the power of 2x from my left-hand side, I get 3 to the power of 2x times 1 plus 1 plus 1 is equal to 9. Now 1 plus 1 plus 1, that's simply going to equal to 3. So now I have 3 to the power of 2x times 3 is equal to 9. Now notice how both of these bases are 3. So what I want to do is I also want to convert 9 into something in the base of 3. Well, 3 to the power of 2, that's equal to 9. 
So if I replace 9 with 3 to the power of 2, I get 3 to the power of 2x times 3 is equal to 3 to the power of 2. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m times a to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m plus n. So in this case, 3 to the power of 2x times 3. 3 is the same thing as 3 to the power of 1. So if I multiply these two, I get 3 to the power of 2x plus 1 is equal to 3 to the power of 2. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m is equal to a to the power of n, then this means that m is equal to n. So in this case, 2x plus 1 is equal to 2. So I have 2x plus 1 is equal to 2. I'm going to first subtract 1 on both sides. So I have 2x is equal to 1. Now I can divide both sides by 2. And I have x is equal to 1 half. So this is my answer. So now to check, I have 9 to the power of x plus 9 to the power of x plus 9 to the power of x is equal to 9. So x is 1 half, so I have 9 to the power of 1 half plus 9 to the power of 1 half plus 9 to the power of 1 half is equal to 9. 9 to the power of 1 half is simply 3, so I have 3 plus 3 plus 3 is equal to 9. 3 times 3 is 9, so I have 9 is equal to 9. Because this is right, my solution is right. Hey guys, welcome back to Clicking Academics. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to solve this exponential problem. So I have 10 to the power of 20 over 20 to the power of 10. So 20 here, I can rewrite as 10 times 2. So now I have 10 to the power of 20 over 10 times 2 to the power of 20. And if I have something in the form a times b to the power of m, this is equal to a to the power of m times b to the power of m. So in this case, this is going to equal 2 to the power of 10 times 10 to the power of 10. Now, this is the same thing as 1 over 2 to the power of 10 times 10 to the power of 20 over 10 to the power of 10. And now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m over a to the power of n, this is simply equal to a to the power of m minus n. So 10 to the power of 20 over 10 to the power of 10, that's going to equal 10 to the power of 20 minus 10, which is simply just 10 to the power of 10. So now if I multiply these again, I have 10 to the power of 10 over 2 to the power of 10. And now if I have something in the form a to the power of m over b to the power of m, this is simply equal to a over b to the power of m. So in this case, 10 to the power of 10 over 2 to the power of 10, that's going to equal 10 over 2 to the power of 10. 10 over 2 is 5, so 5 over 10 is my answer. Now, I actually have a second method of solving this problem. So for method 2, let's first start with 10 to the power of 20 over 20 to the power of 10. Now, 10 to the power of 20, this time I'm going to rewrite my exponent 20 here as 2 times 10. So now I have 10 to the power of 2 times 10 over 20 to the power of 10. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m times n, this is equal to a to the power of m to the power of n. So 10 to the power of 2 times 10, that's going to equal 10 to the power of 2 to the power of 10. And I have this over 20 to the power of 10. Now, 10 to the power of 2 is 100. So now I have 100 to the power of 10 over 20 to the power of 10. Now, if I have something we form a to the power of m over b to the power of m, this is equal to a over b to the power of m. So 100 divided by 20, that's going to equal 5. So I'm left with 5 to the power of 10. So this is my answer.